Stop blocking the voice of God. The voice of God is a communication from God to human beings. There is usually no physical source, but only a voice speaking. Samuel heard the voice of God in 1 Samuel 3. Although he thought it was the voice of Eli the prophet at times, he understood God was trying to communicate with him. When people hear the voice of God, it is because they have a heart-to-heart relationship with him. A child who cannot hear God's voice will always be in trouble. They will make mistakes and face many challenges. The moment you start to hear the voice of God, then you start to progress in life. God is your father. He loves you and wants you to talk to him. Man was created to have fellowship, worship, and communicate with God. When God speaks to you, it is a chance for you to learn from him. Get his guidance and do things his way. The key to the majority of man's blessings is hearing God's voice. So this means there will be a problem when God is trying to speak to you and you cannot hear him. God's sheep hear his voice. If you are a child of God, you should be able to recognize his voice. Listen to what he is saying and obey him. Unfortunately, there are things that you might be doing that are blocking the voice of God. This happens when you are not communicating with God. All relationships are built on communication and prayer as how to communicate with God. Prayer is the key to listening to the voice of God. Jesus Christ is said to have left his disciples several times to speak to God, and it is only right to believe that he also heard from God. If you are a child of God dedicated to him and you do his work, commit no sin, but you do not pray, you will not hear the voice of God. You have to communicate with him in everything that you are doing. When you wake up while you are out and when you come back home, if you can communicate with God without ceasing, his presence will always be with you and you will hear his voice when he wants to speak to you, guide you, or save you from the evils of the day. You can block the voice of God with distractions. The world is filled with distractions, and you are not careful. You might find yourself carried away. You are distracted when you pay attention to things of the world, Take time away from your devotion to God. Worldly distractions can be putting your job above God, a family member, or a partner. It can even be something as trivial as your phone. Things that you have made idols unconsciously in your heart can block God's voice. Sometimes you might be carried away by the pleasures of this world, which makes you waste time pursuing them rather than listening to God. This is why the psalmist asked God in Psalm 119.37 to to turn his eyes from looking at worthless things and give him life in your ways. The world... Distractions are useless and will block the voice of God. Many people block his voice by doing their will and not the will of God. And Hebrews chapter 10 verse 36 says, You need to persevere. Is that what you have done, the will of God? You will receive what he has promised. Many people hear God telling them what he wants but they still go against the will of God because they want to do things their way and please themselves. Eli knew God was not happy with the Israelites or his sons, but he did nothing to change this, and in time he blocked God's voice. 
This is why God chose to speak with young Samuel rather than the prophet of Israel. When God tells you to do something and you decide to do another thing because you do not feel the voice of God is real, then you block the voice of God. Sin is the biggest way to block the voice of God. The Bible says that God cannot look at iniquity. Habakkuk chapter 1, 13. God cannot stay close to sinners. So if you are a sinner, you are blocking God's voice. The truth is, the more you sin, the more hardened your heart becomes. And even when you hear voices telling you to repent, you will not listen. Isaiah chapter 59 verse 1 to 2 says, Listen to the Lord's arm is not too weak to save you, nor his ear too deaf to hear your call. Your sins have cut you off from God. Because of your sins, he has turned away and will not listen anymore. The problem with sin is that once you have blocked the voice of God, he might not be there when you need him. It is possibly to block the voice of God unconsciously. And just like your young Samuel did, God can call you and you do not recognize his voice. Not because you do not love him, but because you do not know him. When you do not know God, it will be hard for you to know his voice. Jesus Christ says, I know my sheep and my sheep know me and my voice. When you deeply know God and love him, then you will know my voice. But most people are only serving God because of what they can get from God, not because they have sincerely given their lives to him. If you have given your life to God sincerely, then you will obey him and do what he tells you to without complaints. Sometimes God tells people not to do something, and then they say, it is not the voice of God, and go ahead and get into trouble because they do not recognize the voice of God. A lot of people also block the voice of God by misunderstanding the word of God. One way to hear the voice of God is by reading the Bible. This is where you will hear the voice of God. When you do not read the Bible, then it is easy for you to get misled. There are many voices speaking today and misinterpreting the Bible. The Bible is clear on many issues, but people know how to change God's word. And the only way they can succeed is when they do, the only way they cannot succeed is when they do not know the Bible. The Bible will not contradict the voice of God. So if you fully know the Bible, you will know and be able to identify the voice of God when you hear it. This understanding the Bible can block you from hearing the voice of God. Stop blocking his voice. God is constantly speaking to his children, but most times people miss out on hearing the voice of God because they have consciously or unconsciously blocked the voice of God. People choose when they want to hear from God, which is usually when they need him. People call upon God when they are in distress. This is when they want to hear the voice of God. They do not want to have a relationship with God. And in doing this, they block him. As you cannot choose when to hear from God and obey him. I'm sorry, guys. I, I just can't stop these commercials.
if you think you have blocked the voice of God, then you must stop this. There are ways to stop blocking God's voice. Some include asking God for forgiveness of sins. You have to surrender and rededicate your life to God so that you can start a new relationship with them. The next thing to do is to start cultivating the habit of prayers. This is the best way to communicate with God. Pray without ceasing by telling God all about your day, your needs, and your achievements. With times you will begin to also hear the voice of God. You must open your heart to God and be ready to listen to God. The Holy Spirit will also help you to hear the voice of God. John chapter 16 verse 13 says, But when he, the Spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only when he hears and will tell you what is yet to come. The Holy Spirit can help you hear the voice of God, but you have to be open to listen to him so he can reveal things that you, that can move your life forward. God wants to speak to you. He might not keep talking to you for a long time. God likes to speak once and mostly in a calm and quiet voice. Your heart has to be open to hear from God. Stop blocking the voice of God and allow him to speak to you. Because once you can hear him, obey and listen to him and your life will be changed. May the Holy Spirit help you to hear and listen to the voice of God. Amen.